All right, Micah, it's so good to have you here. It's great to be here. You know, we've this collection is a long time coming. We put a lot of work to get here. Uh, so we thought it would be good to give a little context about the collection. It's a lot of pieces, you know, it's seven pieces total. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk, let's start from the beginning. So going back a few months, you know, we figured out what's important to you. You know, when Paige was designing this collection, we wanted to figure out what truly represents Micah Morris. Mm -hmm. So talk, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, it, it was a really neat process. And I think that's one of the things that like makes this special for me is like when you guys sat down, when we sat down and had that conversation, you didn't really ask me like, the, the first questions you guys asked me weren't like, you know, what's your favorite style of clothes or what's your favorite colors? It was like, what do you like? And then how do we make that into, uh, you know, an apparel line that's like very unique and also like something that people enjoy. And I think being able to, like one of my biggest passions is the outdoors. And so being able to like, say I love the outdoors and you know we're gonna talk about kind of why that but like being able to just kind of say that and then have you guys we kind of built something around that it just it feels really cool it feels like very authentic and it it mean it means a lot yeah so let's go ahead and start talking about a few of the pieces yeah I think one of the the center pieces of the whole collection is the polo mm -hmm. so yeah. let's let's talk a little bit about the polo and all the different things that are on it yeah so the white polo which has the green tint is I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think that, you know, kind of talking through this, I wasn't sure exactly how it was gonna be. And then when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's literally perfect. But basically we sat down and we're like, what do I like and why do I like it? And my biggest, one of my biggest passions outside of golf is the outdoors. Um, I love lifting weights. I love playing pickleball. I love hunting and fishing. And there's just a, that combination of, t of things. And so we took the polo and then you guys basically made it kind of look it looks like a, I don't know what the pattern would be called exactly. It kind of just like a repeat pattern. It's kind of a repeating pattern, but it's yeah. all of the things that I like. So when you get in really close to it, it's like, it's mountains, it's pickleballs, it's golf balls, it's, um, it's, uh, fishing, well, yeah, fishing, fish hook, and, like antlers. A fish hook, antlers. So it's just like that combination of things. And I think that's like, I mean, a lot of people that follow me, like that's very relatable. And I think it's, it's just really neat. I'm excited to share it. Yeah. One of my favorite pieces to wear. Yeah. It matches obviously really well with the joggers and the shorts, which we should talk about. Yeah, exactly. So talk a little bit about, um, the color of those joggers and how that color kind of played into all the collection. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I mean, I, I love joggers. Obviously, you guys know I've been wearing them forever. And so to be able to, like all of the colors of joggers that you had, you guys have, we basically said we want to make something that's very unique to my mm -hmm. collection. It wasn't, I think we even talked about like black at first and then we were like, no, let's like, let's try to go something a little more unique. And um, I love the olive green joggers that, that you guys have, but we, kind of, we didn't want to do the same. So we kind of did a, a spin off of that. So it's more of a sage color and I don't know. It feels it feels like a very outdoorsy color to me. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if that's universal, but for me personally, it yeah. feels like a very outdoors outdoorsy color, which I love for sure. And we kind of carried that sage green color through mm -hmm. all of the collection. Yeah. and I love that, like yeah. the the tints, the accents, and even uh, like the uh, even like this right here. Like it's just everything is is very mm -hmm. unique, and it's there was a lot of detail and thought that went into this and I think it's just, it turned out amazing. Yeah, I mean, hats off to Paige for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But but I, I want people to understand that you were very much a part of the, mm -hmm. you know, like, again, I mentioned the, the initial conversation, but throughout the whole process, you know, we'd, we'd have back and forth, different <clears throat> designs. Mm -hmm. When we were out in San Diego, that's kind of when we showed you the yeah. first view mm -hmm. of, of it and, you know, it got to where it is today. So there's a few other pieces that we can chat about. There's the polo, the mm -hmm. black polo. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like a more middle of the road, but it's still, I, I always gravitate towards darker, like golf apparel. Mm -hmm. And so we did a black polo with the green accents and then it also has like my little signature tag on it. But it's just, yeah, I think that color with the green on the inside of the collar, mm -hmm. which I'm actually wearing it right now. Yeah. And then it actually has the, the Michael Moore signature on the yeah. inside of that too. But yeah, it just, I really, I really like that. It's very, it's, I mean, obviously it's a normal polo, but for me it's, you know, it's, it's unique to my collection, which is really cool. For sure. Goes well with this Q-zip. Yeah, exactly. It's a very yeah, similar I, color scheme. I'm really, we kind of were debating on if we were going to do a Q-zip and a hoodie, and I'm really glad yeah, that we did both. Cause for sure. I think that, you know, each one of them kind of has their place with an outfit. And for me, I like, mm -hmm. I really like a, a Q-zip sometimes like not having a hood 
just is a little more comfortable for me, but other times it's like the hoodie is a little more fashionable yeah. when it comes to being able to put you know this outfit together so right. i'm really glad we did both this pattern also pine trees i have a weird obsession with just pine <laughs> trees and so mm -hmm. just putting that on a shirt and it's really unique and i've gotten a lot of comments about it already yeah this hoodie really pops mm -hmm. yeah it's a, it's a unique print but yeah i mean it brings a whole brings everything together really mm -hmm. well yeah so the last thing is the hat <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah this is um this is the first huge for the program on, on any apparel that I've ever done. Um, and it's incredible to be able to do it with you guys for the first time. Yeah. But huge for the program is a saying that I kind of adopted probably three, two and a half, three years ago. And it, I actually did not, um, it did not originate with me. <laughs> so I actually stole it. Well, I guess you could say I stole it, but I, I kind of ripped it off of my agent, Josh, who was not my agent at the time. But we went and filmed with him, and it was just kind of crazy because it was the first time I ever met him, and he would just use the saying "huge for the program" all the time, like mm -hmm. you know, if you hit a good shot or whatever. And he would say, "That's huge for the program," and I just, I don't know what it was. I just kind of adopted it, and I started saying it in videos, and then people like think that I created it, but I, I can't take, <laughs> I can't, I, I can't. I can't You're known that. for it, though. but I, it's, it, it is unique to me, and I really like it. I've talked yeah. to Josh about it. And he's, he's transferred it to me. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give him a hat. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll give him a hat. <laughs> but I like it. It's just a, it's just a cool, unique saying, and it can kind of, yeah, I mean, you can kind of use it anywhere. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good well, conversation starter. Yeah, yeah. So, Micah, we're. We're super proud to, to be doing this collection with you. You know, it's a big deal for us as a brand. You know, we have always prided ourselves with working with, with real athletes, which we know how seriously you take the game yeah. um, and how important it is to you. So, so thank you for, for doing this with us. Um, for, for everyone watching, um, if this video is live, that means the collection is live. Yeah. So go ahead and go online. All of this stuff will be available when this collection drops the first 250 people will be entered into a contest. So keep an eye out. We'll give more details on that soon. Yeah, and just kind of piggybacking off of that, I just I just want to say thank you to the Primo team. Um, it's been it's been an incredible honor to, honor to work with you guys. It's been super easy, it's been super fun, and to see like what you guys have been willing to do for me and like with my brand and come together and create something like this and kind of take a chance on me like that, it, it's really, really neat. and. I'm excited to, to see where this goes and how it continues to develop and how we can keep growing together. So thank you guys. Love it. Yep, absolutely.